Hi guys, today we are going to continue our Moses story. So far, we have discussed the Moses story in a lot of parts. They are Baby Moses, Moses pleased to Midian, Moses in the burning bush, and lastly, Moses, God's chosen leader. Today, we are going to discuss the story of Moses and the Red Sea. Okay, let's start. God did not lead the Israelites along the coastal road towards where the Philistines lived. This might have led to a battle with tough Philistines, which God knew the freed slaves weren't prepared for. And many might have fled back to Egypt. Instead, God led them into a desert by the Red Sea. During the day, God led them in a pillar of cloud, which always stayed in front of them and never disappeared. All night long, God led them in a pillar of fire which lit up the route. Eventually, they arrived at the shore of the Red Sea where they camped. Meanwhile, just as God warned Moses, Pharaoh and the Egyptians wanted the Hebrews back as their slaves. Pharaoh got in his chariot and gathered all his troops and 600 chariots to chase after the escaping Hebrews. Meanwhile, when the Hebrews saw the troops, they cried out in fear. Moses said to the people, Do not fear. Stand by and see the salvation of the Lord which he will accomplish for you today. The Lord will fight for you whilst you keep silent. God then told Moses to raise his hand over the sea. So Moses did as God said. God drove the sea back with a strong east wind and it turned into dry land. The people crossed through the sea with a wall of water either side of them. The Egyptians tried to chase after them, but God jammed the wheels of their chariots and there was confusion among the troops. God then told Moses to raise his hands over the sea again. At daybreak, both the walls of water collapsed and became one. The whole army of Pharaoh was swept away. No one survived. Those who were safe on the shore knew that God had delivered them as he had promised and put all their trust in him. They also knew that Moses was God's servant and the best person to lead them. Moses and all the Hebrews sang a song to God thanking him for rescuing them. If we look here friends, the parting of the Red Sea was a miracle of the ages. God can save his people in the midst of all our trials. So we should always cling to the Lord. I hope you all understood this story. I will see you when I come back with another one. Until then, goodbye.